Scotchy Scotch, Scotch time. It's time for my second no sugar whiskey or scotch review. All scotch and whiskey is no sugar. It's just, still makes me smile. Still makes me smile. All right. I'm doing Glen Farkless 15, is 15, 15. Glen Farkless, Farkless 15. I have seen, I've seen a few reviews on YouTube and there, there are plenty of really good reviews out there. I mean, this is obviously gonna be the best one, but, but you know, there are other ones. And uh, it gets really good, good, uh, good, a good write up. Like it's, um, I've heard Christmassy, like, like fruits and, and you know, Christmas pudding. Christmas pudding is, is a description that people have given. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of keen to give it a bit of a crack. I like having good ones. So, I've already sort of, I've already, I already have opened and have a bit of a smell. So, I have seen the cork, which is nice. It's a, it's a nice wood cork. I like that, the wood top. So, I'll just pop that over, I'll pop that over here somewhere. Out of the way, don't really need it. All right, so, it's a Highland single malt. 15 years, as I've established. Uh, it's not what they would regard as the base. I mean, you know, they have 12 and 10. Um, I think they have 12 and 10. I'm pretty sure they have 12 and 10. And they have older, of course. But from what I gather, the 15 is kind of the strength, the wheelhouse. A lot of, a lot of the reviews I've seen have, have gone and tried the 21, and they've, they've said that, that they prefer the 15. So, good for me. It's a lot cheaper. It's not a, not a cheap bottle, this one, though. Not in Australia, anyway. Maybe elsewhere, but... That smells nice. I like that. That's good. Yeah. I don't know that's enough. I do have to drive. So I probably won't drink all that. Nice. Pretty good. Okay. So, initially, colour is nice. It's, it's, it's a really nice amber. It's not too light. It's uh, a bit dark. I've got my clear ice in there, and it's, it looks just fit. Try not to spill any. Yeah, that's nice stuff. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm definitely getting. There's there's some sweet stuff there, but there's also something else. Yeah, it's 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 hard to pick at the moment. I know it's it's definitely something I'm going to taste as soon as it's in my in my gob. Anyway, I'll just switch it around making it nice and cold, because that's the way I like it. Okay. Yep, so... It's it's quite thick. Well, it feels quite thick to me. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm not reading that right, but... It's got a real sort of coating sort of thing happening. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's, a, it's, you know, it's sort of lick the teeth sort of thing. It's not bad. I don't think I'd rave about it as much as other, as people have. I can see exactly why they're saying Christmas pudding. So I'm getting, so I don't usually go into, you know, breaking it down too much, but for this one, I might a little bit. I'm getting sort of some, some, definitely some sort of stewed fruits or something like that, like some dates and some, definitely dark fruits, like not, not like some peaches and stuff like that, but darker ones. So, you know, prunes even, dates and prunes. Yeah, yeah, definitely getting that. <sighs> cherries even? Yeah, cherries, like like the darker cherry, yeah. Cher yeah, well that's Christmas, Christmas, Christmas pudding, Christmas pudding, yeah. Yep, yep, it's okay. It's okay, it's, I don't think this is going to be my go-to, um, given the price. I mean, in Australia, this is this is 150 clams, so which is what about 90, I guess, 90 odd, probably just over 90, 95, maybe even 100 in America, or even in uh, Europe. But um, look, it's 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 tasty, but um, I think it's, I I feel it's going to be one of those scotches that's more suitable depending on what time, what you're eating and what time you try it. So for me, I think this is, this is definitely an after dinner scotch. I think it's possibly something to have with dessert. Now given I'm currently not eating <laughs> dessert. Um, but yeah, maybe something dark chocolatey. Uh, I think that would go quite well because if you think of the comparison with with like a dark chocolate or a chocolatey dessert, and you have something like you know raspberries or something to cut through, I think I think this would actually work really well. 
I wouldn't go cooking with it because it's way too good for that, but yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice, but having try having tried it now, I don't think I'd I'd put all that much credence into all the reviews that you see out there that are singing its praises, you know, to the, to the moon. It is good, but it's not absolutely amazing. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not making my top 10 list or anything like that. It's, it's just a solid, nice scotch. And it is a little bit different. So if you are looking for something that's, I can't even pick anything that's, it's, that's in the, in the same sort of boat or the same league. It's, it's a very odd, finishing an odd tasting scotch for me but um if you if you're trying to sort of get some variety into a collection or something like that then then yeah or if you want to try something different if you're just going out there and you, you don't drink that much scotch i probably wouldn't wouldn't go for this one um i'd probably go for something more simple a bit with a less slightly less complex sort of palette that's happening but look it, it ticks a lot of boxes it looks really nice it smells quite nice like I do really like the smell I quite like the the sort of the, the as I said that dark fruitiness that I'm getting but um, the taste just it does let me down a little bit it's not not bad it's just not great not great but it is sugar free which is awesome yeah all right that was quick nice and quick scotch review Glenn Farkless as I said I didn't bring out another one because I, I, I as much as I like Christmas pudding it's not my favorite thing so I, I had a I had a guess that it would not be pushing for my top scotch, and it's not. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the brown bottle. I don't like brown. I like clear bottles. I always have. That's just me. Okay, I'll leave it there. Um, not quite sure what tomorrow's uh, sugar-free vlog will be. So, I guess you better just watch to see, because <laughs> it'll be a surprise to me too. <laughs> I'll see you then.